local news, astronomers predict the meteor showers will continue for the next hour or so. On the lighter side, the 84th annual Pi Festival will open tomorrow at the fairgrounds. At last, that twilight Get out of here, old man! Beat it, you creep! Here in the afterglow of the rain. I'll just give you my ticket out of this. Could be some sort of cubic zirconium. I knew we'd have a great view of the meteor shower from up here. I've never seen so many shooting stars in my life. I'm glad you asked me out, Steve. Glad you accepted, you know, with your family moving up on the hill and all. Are you saying I come from a family of snobs? No. Oh, you're right. If it weren't for your good grades and your job at the sweet shop, my parents would have never let me come. They're so 1940s. I'd like to share my Twinkie with you. Oh, Steve. When you're headachy and feverish with a cold, take Alka-Seltzer to help you feel better while you're getting better. <laughs> Try it. I don't think he's feeling anything right now. Look, 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 look. Oh, Steve! <laughs> about the B-Vet. Now, dear, kids that age, they're always interested in rocks and fossils and such. She's acting a bit odd. That's one big rock. What happened? Oh, we were down at the old Carson farm, watching the meteor shower, and we heard a scream. And this gentleman stumbled up to our car. Ours. Maybe you better prepare a sedative for Prissy. I think she's overwrought. You were saying? And then this gentleman stumbled up to the car. Hmm, let me take a look. Hmm, I better take him back to my examination room. You stay here with Nurse Phipps. Have a dum dum. Dum 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 Oh, Steve, something's wrong. I can feel it. I can still give you that sedative, young lady. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Okay, Steve, I'll go and check on the doctor. Chrissy, everything's going to be fine. When we're done here, we go back to the sweet shop for a malted. I like that, Steve. The doctor was there now, both of you. Come on, Steve, he is a doctor. Hello? Doctor? Doc Abernathy? Steve! <laughs> We've been fine. Nurse! Nurse! Ah! He's fine, B. You know, all boys like, you know, fossils and rocks and things like that. You know, if it went for my bed back, I'd get a job. I don't like it. He should be taking piano lessons. He could be the next Liberace. Oh, B, quit playing around with that rock and go to bed! Ned, I'm worried. Look at this place. 
It's a mess! Oh, for corn's sakes, Ethel! We gotta get down to the diner! Some thing came to Earth with those falling stars. Some kind of atomic germ that transforms people into zomboids. It's spreading all over town. Have to know what to do. You'll find the nearby fountain where they serve Coca-Cola is a mighty popular place. A sparkling glass of ice-cold Coke is a sparkling addition to the festivity. Heavenly shades of night are falling. It's twilight time. Out of the mist your voice is calling. There you go, Hans. Huh? It's twilight time. Am I putting sugar to go with that? No, this is fine. You want a piece of pie to go with that? No, no pie. No, thank you. It's good pie. This is fine. Thanks. Let me know if you change your mind. No, no pie, thank you. Oh, come on. Let me be your choice. I don't want any pie. No. We got a special one pie today. I don't want any pie. Well, pardon me for living. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude. It's just this meteor shower. One of them hit my car. Yes, that's right. Instead of my usual Crisco, I used a cheaper shortening. You didn't use Crisco. Why? Save money. Oh, but this is how you really save. Crisco? Uh-huh. A Crisco pie crust only costs about a penny more. Heavenly shades of... Oh, now let's go in and drop the pie. I'll take care of it. Hey, kids, what's pie? That's the worst pops. You want to check on the lights, I hope. I need to use your phone. Sure, Steve. If it's working. Power's on all over town. Really? Yep, phones do. Need to call Officer Dave. Hey, what's wrong with her? Looks like she's having you to do. Ah, she's not dead. Dean, it's just like old Mary Brownie. And there's Phipps. You mean... Look. You have pie to go with that? on you to destroy you. I said squeeze me, not squeezy. thing I've ever seen in my life. Hey, you kids. Past curfew. Officer Day, something weird's going on all over town. It's weird, all right. I think we've got some dope fiends in this town. I think something fell out of the earth during the meteor shower. Something atomic. Probably some plot by the Reds. I'll look into it. You kids run along now. But Officer Day. Son. Do as I say, you kids go run along home now, and rustle up me some commie dope fiends. He knew just what to do, he duck and cover, duck and cover. You may be in your schoolyard playing when the signal comes. Signal means to you know, boys gotta grow up doing and get to the nearest safe place. It's just fast. that he's gonna get his heart. You are not close to home when you hear the warning. Go to the nearest safe cover. Know where you are to go. Our interview with Professor Johnson has just been interrupted by Steve Martin. Steve, you say there's a way to stop this thing? You say it has a weakness? It's definitely afraid of ordinary sugar. How do you know that? I noticed the ones outside the theater hadn't visited the snack bar. Uh, yes, I have canisters of vaporized sugar at my lab. I believe if the young people would take them and get you them... You hear that, guys uh, and gals? Uh, uh, I'll spin the platters and you do what matters. Get those canisters down to the Strand Theater, pronto. We've got to stop this mass from Mars, this jello from Jupiter, this thing from another world. I think we've got it under control, but we won't rest easy. Whatever shall we do?
the more solid substance you can put between yourself and the fallout, the better. But an ordinary frame house with windows closed will give considerable protection. Hey, Brownie, stop! Everything does happen to him. Is it really over, Steve? I hope so, Chrissy. I hope so. Hey, kids, who wants pie? I love to take my baby to a movie show So I can try to smooch her while the lights are low But she won't cuddle to a story of romance There's only one way I've got a chance It takes the Batman, Wolfman, Frankenstein or Dracula To put her in the mood for love It takes the cat girl, dog boy, creature from the Black Lagoon To make her feel like making love it takes a monster from outer space to make my baby want my embrace. And when I hold her, she's like a dream. If only she can hear somebody scream. <laughs>